It's Thursday, August 6, 2009. Welcome back to the Morning Swim Show news segment. I'm your host, Peter Bush. The second day of swimming at the U.S. Open was pretty darn fast, featuring four of the U.S.'s best swimmers who did not make the World Championship team. We'll start with the much-hyped return of Jessica Hardy after her one-year suspension for testing positive for a banned substance at the 08 Olympic Trials. In the final of the 100 free, Hardy took the race out fast at 26.20. She was under Amanda Weir's American record pace, but she couldn't hold on. Erica Erndl passed her in the final 10 meters to win with a 54.59. Hardy was second at 55 flat. Nick Thoman was the clear winner on the men's 200 back, winning with a 154.59. That time was just a few tenths faster than his swim at the World Trials. Still would not have made the team. On the plus side, Thoman's swim makes him the fifth fastest performer in that event in the world. Another guy named Nick, uh, Nick came to Federal Way to improve on his performance from the World Trials. This time it was Nick Brunelli who finished 8th in the 100 free and 1 tenth away from swimming on that 400 free relay in Rome. At the U.S. Open, he was 1 one hundredth of a second faster than his time from Indianapolis. He went a 48.52. The man who finished 7th at the World Trials, Jimmy Fegan, was 2nd to Brunelli. At the U.S. Open, he went a 49.25. Jack Brown won the 400 IM with a 4.12.58, swimming for the Tucson Ford Dealers. He was more than a second faster than his time at the World Trials, where he placed third in the event, but far behind Ryan Lochte and Tyler Clary. Brown was pushed by Robert Margalis for the entire race, but he pulled away on the breaststroke leg and was able to hold off Margalis on the freestyle. Justine Mueller won the women's 400 IM. Her time was a 440.61. And Margaret Meyer was the winner of the women's two back with a 209.5. Today they're swimming the 400 free and the 100 butterfly. The women's 400 free is going to have Kate Ziegler. Men's 400 will likely be a battle between Michael Klee, Sebastian Ruhlt, and Chad LaTourette. We'll have recaps of all the finals on SwimmingWorld.com. And the U.S. Swimming Masters Nationals have become an in, have begun in Indianapolis. World records already being rewritten, no surprise there. Laura Val, who has, who has voted the Swimming World Magazine's World Master Swimmer of the Year multiple times, she broke her own world record in the 50 fly in the 55 to 59 age group with a 31.42. And Lori Didamoso did what few people are able to do. She broke a world record by Carlin Pipes Nielsen in the 50 fly for the Women's 45-49 age group, Didamasu swam a 29-37, take about two tenths off the record. The men's 50 fly, Oswaldo Cavedo swam a 24-17 to break his own world record, which he set three years ago in the 30-34 to age group. Cavedo will be gunning for the world record in the 100 fly, which he owned for about a week until it was broken. That world record right now stands at 55-01. And perennial record breaker Mike Ross took down Paul Smith's world record of 25.87 in the 40 to 44 age group with the 25.57. Steve Hildebittel was also under the record at 25.73. And three-time Olympian Gary Hall Sr. He broke a world record in the 50 fly with the 55 to 59 age group with the 26.86, breaking Greg Shaw's record. Jamie Fowler set two uh, world records of her own. In the 50 to 54 age group a couple weeks ago, 50 back and 200 IM. Now he has his name on the 200 back world record. Fowler swam at 217.74, breaking Tom Wolfe's record by nearly three seconds. And two more of Carlin Pipes Nielsen's records fell in the women's two back, the last event to finish before we uh, tape today's show. Sarah Beth Metzger swam at 217.61 in the 30 to 34 age group to break. Pipe Nielsen's record of 218.98. Then Jody Smith swam a 223.18 in the 40 to 44 age group, wiping out Carlin's record at 225.91. Two more world records fell in the women's two back. One went to 82-year-old Betty Lorenzi in the 80 to 84 age group, swam a 353.25. And the other record was broke by Nancy Steedman Martin, who swam a 247.52, breaking the record in the 55 to 59 age group. And finally on the show today, we want to commemorate the 83rd anniversary of Gertrude Early's successful swim across the English Channel. Gertrude was the first woman to complete the journey when she touched the French coast on August 6, 1926. Her time was 14 hours and 39 minutes, 
the fastest crossing at that point in history, faster than all the men who had done it before her. Two years before that, Early was an Olympic gold medalist in the 400 free relay, and she won bronzes in the 100 free and 400 free. Since that early swim, about a thousand people have made successful crossings, many of them women. You can find a list of all the names at the official website for the English Channel Crossings at channelswimmingassociation.com. And that's our news for today. Thank you very much to Swim Network for providing the footage of the U.S. Open. Be sure to join me and John Lone tomorrow as we give our final thoughts about the World Championships. Until then, I'm Peter Bush, reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.